Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Arrogance. So in this video I'd like to go over the upgrade priority for your character to get it maxed out. So this will be upon starting out in the game all the way to finally getting like 80,000 item level. I don't even have that yet and you probably don't want to have that to maximize your gear potential. I won't exactly go in depth of what types of gear you want to have for your class. I'm leaving that to those people who create builds on said class. Gear optimization is what you do at the end game. Your main priority, in my opinion, is focusing on item level. The main reason is because once you start out in the game, your only source of rough astral diamonds to convert to astral diamonds every day is from these random cues that's your main source there are of course other sources and people have made other videos and i have as well and i'll try and going to make an updated one as well the best way to get rough astral diamonds but as a new player what you want to be doing is getting these rough astral diamonds they are in your inventory the coin section just here you can see you can refine a maximum of a hundred thousand per day so you can essentially get 100,000 astral diamonds every day. And that means after 10 days, you've got a million. And then you can go to the auction house and you can use that currency then to buy things from other players. For example, companions, mounts, etc. And so as a result of this rough astral diamonds, the more item level you have, the more of these queues you'll be able to access. You can see that the advanced dungeon queue will require you to have 30,000 item level and the trial queue will require you to have 40,000 item level. And you can see the daily bonus is pretty substantial compared to what you just get from the skirmish and the dungeon queue. So it will cut your rough astral diamond time by a substantial amount of course, depending if you can complete said dungeons or trials or not. I will give a little tip on how you can make it easier later on in the video. So let's jump straight in. So the very first step is to literally just create a character. You'll choose your class, your ability scores, customize it, and it doesn't matter on what deity you choose whatsoever. And you can just choose a random name if you don't particularly mind. However, you're not locked behind what name you can have. So don't worry about that too much. You can skip your cutscene. And once you've started the game, we can have a look at our character sheet by pressing C. And we're already at 5,000 item level with even 104 as bonus because of already the gear we have on equipped to us. And we can go and complete the tutorial and we'll get some even more gear and you'll get this throughout your entire leveling process you'll kill enemies you'll get gear you'll complete quests you'll get gear and to equip your gear you open your inventory you can press the bag down here or just press i go to make sure you're in the bag section here and then you can double click on these items and it will automatically equip them on your character. We're already increasing our item level. Now, what we want to mainly focus on is increasing our level first. Get that maxed out, which is equal to level 20. So we'll continue along this tutorial. So your next step after completing the tutorial is to join a guild. You can see we've been invited and we can click accept and then we can go to our character. We can go to boons, we can go to stronghold and here you can activate your guild boons. You can activate three of them there and each one gives you a total of a thousand item level. We can see we're at now 8,000 item level just over that because of the boost we get from our gear. As a new player, what you can do is go to the chat here and make sure you're in the zone chat. You can click on the little chat button here you can hover over set channel and you can switch to any of these the shortcut is forward slash zone enter and then you can talk in your zone chat and here you can ask to join a guild you'll generally get at least somebody who will invite you ideally when you press g you will be in a guild that will be max level 20 for those max level boons and so your next step is to go to your journal and you can see we have the adventure never death graveyard make sure you follow this quest line the first one we have is training day which we got from sergeant knox and we'll go and do that so after fully completing the never death graveyard leveling adventure we need to head back to sergeant knox back to protectors enclave and into the adventuring guild and here you can hand back in that graveyard at red 
rest quests. You will get another quest, which is five keys to success. And there we finish our five keys to success quest. And we get all that companion gear just there. And so the new companion gear you just got, you need to go to your character sheet, pressing C, go to companions tab, and here you should have slots for equipment. And you should be able to find that companion gear that you were given there, and you can slot each of them in there. And you can see each one gives you 300 item level, so that would be a total of another 900 item level. Now, I'm sorry I can't show this exactly, but with that quest, five keys to success with the last quest in Nevertheless Grace, Graveyard. If you haven't completed it already, you should be able to go to the Zen market and purchase three shimmering locks box keys. You will open those and those keys will give you a blue mount, which you can slot in to your stable. And essentially that will give you a total of about 600 item level along with the companion gear that you just gained. And you should also get a green insignia, which you should be able to slot adjacent to your mount for another 25 item level as well. So now Next up, you're going to have to make your way over to Velosk and continue that story, completing all those quests. However, you won't gain much item level except for some replacement gear pieces along the way. So the next one, we jump to the Ebon Downs. You will need 8,000 item level. But at this point, if you've already joined the guild, you should be well over that. So with the Ebon Downs nearly complete, we hand in our last quest, a new path, and that completes the campaign. We can claim our reward and we can see we go there and we get an epic mount. We'll give you about a 600 boost in item level. On top of that, you also get this blue pack here, which will give you one of these mount collars and you'll slot a collar adjacent to one of your mounts. So next up, we head to Icepire Peak. But once you've gone and finished your questing in Icepire Peak, you'll get this last quest, which will be how enchanting. You'll have to speak with Tahan. He'll be just up here. You'll speak with him about the enchantments. He'll go and give you a bunch of stuff here. You want to go and right click on the quartz and convert it to refinement points and then right click on your etched glass enchantment. Click refine. You'll refine that up straight away and that will give you this new enchantment here, rank two. And you'll have to go and hand that back into himself. There we go. And as a reward, he will give you one of these green garnet enchantments, which you will go to your character sheet, you'll go to your enchantment section, and you'll slot in in one of these slots. It doesn't matter which one you put it in, you could put it in utility as well. And that will give you another 300 item level bonus. Along with that, you'll hand back in How Enchanting Quest, and that will be Icepire Peak complete. And we'll claim those rewards, and we can see we'll get a Mystic Fiora, which will be a epic companion, which you can go and double click you can bind it, you can name it, you can automatically name it by pressing your character sheet up here and pressing alt, and then you should be able to find it within your companion library here. I have a load of these companions already, but if essentially getting your first epic companion will basically give you about 1,218 item level. Along with that, if you look in your inventory, you'll have a green companion enhancement, which you will slot again in your companions tab just in here. This is where you'll put your companion enhancement and it'll make your companion deal more damage or give you more stats if it's an augment like this one is here. So in total from Ice Fire Peak, we gained about 1,800 item level. So next up, you'll want to go and complete the Chasm Adventure. You'll do all your quests and lastly, you'll get artifacts ins and insignias. Herein, you'll go speak back to Tarhan again and you'll speak to him there and then you'll enter this orb and complete a quest. And quickly to showcase this quest, you'll just navigate between the islands, activating these skulls and killing all the enemies upon them. And then you'll get this NPC and you'll speak to him and it was the armies of Neverwinter. And if you get it wrong, you'll basically have to fight some big bone golem. You retrieve the artifact and you head back. You speak back to this guy and you finish the quest. And now you get to choose which artifact you want from this chest. Here's your three choices. The lantern's a very good choice, but you can again get all of those artifacts again from the auction house. I wouldn't worry too much. And basically, this artifact gives you 100 item level when you go and slot it in one of your artifact slots here. You can see right there, 100 item level on green. You can go and upgrade them, 
but I will do so at a later date. You'll speak to Fadre Jason about mounts and insignias, and then you'll get this insignia in your inventory. You'll go refine that. You'll click the upgrade button and you'll basically receive that insignia at rank two and you'll hand that back in and very nicely she'll go and give you a blue insignia right there. Insignias again, you'll go to your mounts, your stable and you'll slot them in these slots. You can see they do have requirements of what insignias you can put in depending on what mounts you have and blue insignias will simply just give you 50 item level you'll hand that quest back in and once that's done you've completed the chasm and you can claim your rewards now those rewards that you do go and claim then you can see you'll get a bunch of epic insignia choice packs so that's pretty neat you can see each insignia on epic will give you a hundred item level so that's 300 item level there and you'll also get an enchantment choice pack which you can claim one of these green enchantments for another 300 item level just don't choose these bonus ones because they don't give you any item level those are kind of what you want to do at the very end when your character's like maxed out they basically give you tiny benefit and so from the chasm you will gain about a 750 item level boost from completing this adventure so we move on next to the whispering caverns which you go you'll complete all of your quests and once you've gone and finished that we can hand in audience of the protector and you got a bunch of these other items you will get your neck waist set so for example if you just upgraded your character you might not have a neck and waist set like i have right now so you would get the cloak of the protector with 550 you would get this choice pack where you can choose one of these depending on your class and you go and slot that in and that gives you the full set there as long as you're using the Kragmire artifact slotted in one of these slots like this lantern of revelation however while leveling i would instead of using this cloak of protector and this girdle you switch out to the set that you would have got while leveling you should have got the priestess's cape 850 and the priestess's sash 850 with that you gain 1700 item level plus another one of these green enchantments by finishing the whispering caverns so next up what you want to do is head over to this seals vendor during leveling you when you kill bosses and things you will get these seals you want to go to the second section here where you can buy equipment what you want to do is essentially get a full set of gear of the seals you can see you get 950 item level for the gear and for the weapons you get 975 item level you can get shirt and pants of a thousand item level just go buy yourself a full set and kit your whole character out and that should give you a pretty massive boost of item level of 7750 if you pretty much didn't have any gear beforehand so the next step would be going to the next event adventure the under mountain what you will do is you'll go and essentially complete all of your quests in the zone you'll just follow your sparkly line and then you'll claim your rewards at the end now it's a bit RNG of what you actually get from these but you can get some decent things you can get some gear here of like 1050 item level and you can also get some astral diamonds with some black opals and seals of the wild and you can complete each of those so what you will do while adventuring venturing within under mountain is you will pick up some companion gear just by completing quests you should be able to get the plated belt of the companion the choke chain of the companion and the pearl ring of the companion just make sure when you do these expeditions that under the mini map you should see it says like collect relics make sure to find all the relics before you proceed on to the next area and you should get this companion gear after that you're heading over to the yawning portal and you can repeat those under mountain expeditions three per day from abaya ude which you can get a slight upgrade in companion gear of 1010 item level giving you 159 item level boost there next up you will start getting seals of the wild so you'll head to a seals trader and here you have the seals of the wild gear now if you gather enough seals you'll be able to upgrade your gear further you can see all of this gear has 1600 item level with the shirt and pants having 1300 item level now you will be able to buy all of this gear from the auction house but i just recommend saving your astral diamonds for example here you can see a bunch of the gear 
but it can get pretty pricey depending on what gear pieces you're looking for. These would be for the Rogue. However, you can get some nice cheap shirt and pants just there for a really minuscule amount of Astral Diamonds. I would definitely recommend picking those up. You can see pants as well, really dirt cheap. 1,300 item level. Otherwise, you can of course do it yourself by grinding those seals of the wild. The main source for seals of the wild as a new player will be from your random queues, the skirmish queue and the dungeon queue. You can see they respectively give you a bonus there of 60 and 45, but then a bit less when you don't have the daily bonus. So upgrading to seals of the wild gear will give you about 3,200 more item level. What you will want to do then is head over to Lord Never Ember, very top of the Protector's Enclave, and he should give you the Vault of the Nine quest. And you can see this will give you the sigil of your class artifact. And this will give you another 100 item level. You can, of course, again, just buy artifacts from the auction house very cheaply. But at this stage, we've gotten to just over 28,000 item level. Now, if you have gone and got some rings just by killing enemies or doing some quests, then you might even be at nearly 30,000 item level at this point without paying a single penny, without spending a single penny of your precious astral diamonds. Now, you've done this by just getting all the gear with the seals of the wild to get that nice 1,600 there. You've gotten those weapons, 975. Of course, if you manage to pick up weapons with higher item level, than those seals of the adventure weapons by all means use them you're not really looking at any gear pieces and what bonuses they have you're purely stacking your item level again just to get into these more advanced random cues to cut down drastically on the amount of time it's going to take you every day to get your rough astral diamonds so again our setup is as this on our gear enchantments you should have three green ones you should have two green artifacts in your boons, you should have the Guild Stronghold boons. None of these boons here are going to affect you too much from the campaign, so I wouldn't worry overly too much about them. And in companions, you should have an epic companion. You should have the Mystic Fiora here from within Icepire Peak, this one right here. And you should have its bonus equipped here, along with also the Grey and companion you get from i believe one of the very introduction quests but the item level you gain from it is next to nothing and you should gain 300 item level from the companion enhancement here as well with regards to your companion equipment you should have this gear here you should have the choke chain with 1125 and you should have otherwise two gear pieces with a thousand and ten otherwise you could of course have the lower grade ones like the platinum belt and the pearl but you ideally want to go move on from those and then you should have the green companion enhancement and then we go to the mounts and in here you should have your epic mount again just from the adventure ebb on downs you should have this flail snail epic mount just to represent to you guys easier for me i have the enchanted broom epic mount they make no difference and you should have then your combat power here giving you just over 600 item level and the equip power here just over 600 item level and then you should i believe have like a blue mount by now and a green mount as well you can ignore my other two which give me a little bit more bolster you should be around i believe nearly seven percent bolster and that will still give you about just over 1200 item level from there and then you should have three epic insignias one blue and you should also have a green one from the shimmering lock boxes along with a blue collar which i don't have one right now i can represent with a epic collar but that gives 200 more item level which puts our item level nearly at 29,000. And overall, that is what a character looks like without spending a single dime of Astral Diamonds. You can push it, tweak it a little bit further, but from here on out, you're pretty much looking towards spending Astral Diamonds to at least make more progress with any right time. You can, of course, go to professions. You can level those up and craft some temporary gear for yourself, but the time invested that it takes is just far longer than just purchasing a piece of gear here and there like rings off the auction house to give you a big jump in item level so i'm going to break this into parts unfortunately and finish the video here this is as far as we got completely without spending a penny my next video i'll do the second part and hopefully we'll get 
all the way up to 40,000 item level and I'll probably, depending on how long it goes, even show what it costs to get to the maximum item level to max out your character's potential. Ideally, you want more gear optimization at some point. That will be when you're getting closer to the end game after you've spent a bunch of resources when you've figured out how to grind your Astro Diamonds and so on. From here on, you're pretty much going to be grinding your skirmish and your dungeon queue for the rough Astro Diamonds and spending a bunch of that and we'll go over that in the next video. With that said, hopefully I presented this well. If I did, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.